Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about our website's checkout process. Now we had some confusion during the first batch release. Some people added items to their cart, tried to complete their purchases, and were met with an error message that said the items were no longer in stock. So I wanted to try and explain why this happens. The short answer is that we only sell 42 pedal sets per batch and they sell very quickly. But that really doesn't explain why you're still able to add products to your cart when they're sold out. Now this has to do with timing and how our website processes orders. Now when you add items to your cart, our stock numbers don't go down. For example, I can add a pedal set to my cart, but that doesn't mean that this pedal set is now reserved for me. Okay, so let's say that there is one pedal set left in stock. Now, as you can see on this page, I have one pedal set added to my cart. However, if I check to see how many pedal sets are left in stock on the website's back end, it will still say that I have one pedal set left in stock, even though I just added one to my cart. The website will only lower the stock numbers once someone has completed their purchase through PayPal, and this is where it becomes a timing issue. There may be someone who just happened to finish the checkout process right before you did. So to try and alleviate some of the frustration, I wanted to give you sort of a guided tour of the checkout process so that when it comes time to check out, you are much more prepared. All right, so we'll start back on the order page. Now, what I'm going to do here is add a couple of items to my cart. Now, we've got all three products lined up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the pedal set and the mounting plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add to Cart, and you can see that it's adding and added. Now, once it's added, you'll see up here in the cart, you'll see the, the numbers go up. Now it's one, it was zero before, so I'm going to add the mounting plate, and you'll see this number go back to two. All right, so here we go, add to cart, adding, it's added, and we've got two. So now we can go to the cart. So once you've got your products all added, what you do is you come up here to the cart, you click on it, and it will bring you to the cart. Now this is where you make sure that you have everything that you want. Once you're sure you have everything you need, you click on the checkout button right here at the bottom right. So I'm going to click on checkout. And it will bring me to the checkout page. Now the first thing you're going to do is you are going to enter your email. I'm just going to put something in general, something at somewhere, oops, can't type, dot com. We click continue. And this is where you fill out your address. Now, if you have uh, Chrome or Firefox, this is where uh, this can come in handy. Uh, if you've got an address saved, you can type in your first name, and sometimes it will do an autofill. And this is where you can save some time. But for me, I'm just going to enter in a generic name, John Doe, the address, 123 Maple Street. Okay, country, United States, zip code, we'll just say New York, 10075, New, well, oh, it, oh, no, okay, there we go, New York, New York, phone number, you don't have to put that. Now, you can see your shipping options, FedEx ground or FedEx accessory, don't worry about the FedEx accessories, this will always pop up. Choose FedEx ground, hit continue. Now, this is where you have to agree to the terms of sale and the warranty. You have to click these two boxes. So, yes, I agree here, and yes, I agree here. If you want to read them, take the time to read them, but it's probably a good idea that you take time to read these beforehand so that you don't waste time in the checkout process. All right, so we will click Continue. Now, here is where you will complete the payment. Now, the only form of payment that we take is PayPal. So what you will do is click on the Continue with PayPal button. There will be a separate window pop up where you can log into PayPal or type in your credit card number. Uh, I would suggest that you have a PayPal account because that would make it faster. You can log in and just choose whatever payment you like. Uh, if you have to fill out a credit card information, this takes time and someone may complete their purchase before you. Okay, I hope that clears things up for you. Hopefully this will allow you to save some time during the checkout process. All right, guys, we will see you next time.